Good evening. I wanted to jump in real quick with a short video. I've had a couple of messages and direct messages regarding installing the World Traffic Bundle. Um, if you've seen my videos or my video in Tower 3D Pro for installing real traffic, real color, and custom schedules, then this is the same concept, the same setup. Everything operates the exact same way, so very simple on that front. There are a few adjustments that they've made to things, which is nice, but overall it's the same setup. So this is where I'm keeping my install on my NOS, and I've got a file that I always create for the keys, especially with all of the uh, Tara 3D options, and everything had to be bought separately. In my keys file, I track the order number, the name it's registered to, the email address, the download link. Um, with the new BMT Micro site, you do get a product ID and a password, so you should, in theory, be able to download it without needing to email their support every three months, which is good, so I track that. And then I track my registration key. The final thing that I track is the most important portion that I think everybody gets incorrect with this, and that is the install directory. So let me launch the installer and get the folder out of there. So this is the installer. The first thing it's going to ask us is, are you installing to the default or into Steam? This all comes down to where you bought the game. If you bought the game from Feel There, then you need to do the default. If you bought it from Steam, then you need to install into the Steam directory. I purchased through Steam, so I select the Steam and move forward. You fill out your personal information here. All right, now that I've input my information specific to my install, you can see it brings up where you want to install it. By default, it selects the root directory for the game in the default installation. Now, if you saw when I had my folder view up, I don't have a standard setup. This is after decades of using computers and setting up systems, so I have multiple hard drives for different things. So for me, this is not my directory. You need to know where on your computer you installed the game because you need to find your Tower Simulator 3 directory. Everything in front of that is specific to you. In my case, it's a very short change. And if you never change the install directory, then no big deal. Simply, this is mine. F is my gaming SSD then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Tower 3D. That's it. You don't want to go into any other folders. You don't want to move it anywhere else. It has to be in the default Tower Simulator 3 directory. If I click to expand, I can browse to it. But again, if you know it, you can copy it straight out of Windows Explorer, and it makes it much easier. This is the only way you can install it to the right directory. You cannot install it anywhere else, or it won't work. Um, and that's the common failure point that I see for people. Either they bought it on Steam and they installed the def uh, default version of World Traffic, or they put it in the wrong directory. So that's the main highlight. When you hit next, it'll take a couple minutes to run through the install. It is a fairly large install by comparison to the older versions, but that's really it. Let it finish, close out of it, and then you can launch the game, which I'll do in a second, and we'll see what you need to configure in-game. All right, so now we are in game. We just installed the real world and we want to play with it. You cannot currently play the career mode with real traffic, I'm sorry, world traffic and world color. You can only play the career options with the default Denali and all the other, um, whatever they set up by default. So you have to go under quick play. Pick your airport, as we saw in the prior video, looking at the folder structure. Everything should be good to go if you installed it in the correct directory. And you can um, double check some of that by looking at the individual airports. You should see the default and all that. I'm going to pick LAX and select it. Configure the airport for whatever you want. Typical arrival, on, uh, arrival runways. Time of day, traffic density. There's currently a couple of bugs with this. I'll talk to those in a second. Most importantly, you can see under airport database and airport airplane set. You need to switch from the default to the mod you just installed by Nurgy's design. Again, sorry if I butchered your pronunciation. That's it. That will load the real world um, liveries as well as the airlines and let you play with them. And that's it. Just hit start. What I want to call out on that is 
There's a few issues. So one, this traffic slider doesn't seem to really do anything, which makes it a little dull sometimes. I did a couple minutes at LAX just to make sure everything worked. And I think I controlled two planes in five minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. I don't know, it was pretty pathetic. That is something that they're looking at. Other issues are, um, there's a few issues with a couple of gates at different airports where the gates just don't respond. There's a couple airplanes that don't respond and you end up having to delete them. Some basic things like that. Most of these are known issues at this time according to the uh, Discord support group. They are working on a hot fix for a number of things instead of waiting for a service pack. So hopefully they'll get those things hashed out pretty quickly. And for anything relating to real world traffic and real world color, you have to deal with Nurgi's design. So when he patches the issues with the scheduling, the gate assignments, whatever is causing the problem, if it's not within Tower Simulator, this person will post a new update. You'll have to go download again and you'll have to reinstall, unfortunately. I wish they'd done it all through Steam or in the store here to make life simple, but whatever, it is what it is. So that's how you install it. That's how you use it. The final thing I want to call out is the first time I played this, I've only played it once. Again, I just installed it, made sure it worked, and then I went to bed. It took a ridiculous amount of time to load. I may not have the most state-of-the-art PC anymore, but there's no reason in my mind that the game should take this long to compile, import the databases and all that stuff, and load. So it's an optimization issue in my opinion. I'm sure they'll hash some of that stuff out down the road. But in all honesty, it took about three minutes to load the game. That doesn't sound like a long time, but when you're used to 15, 20 seconds, it was a noticeably slow load. And at first I thought the game had crashed because if you, again, had seen any of the Tower 3D Pro videos when I was um, doing some troubleshooting on some of my own maps, maps, my own schedules, if something fails to compile and load, the game freezes, it just won't load. So in this case, I thought it had frozen. I figured I would sit and let it run a little longer just in case because I saw how slow the original screen loaded and there's no percentage. And I'm glad I did because it did eventually load in telling me that I had done the installation correctly, but it took a very long time. So hopefully this helps you get the uh, world traffic and world color installed set up and able to be played on your computers. Otherwise, let me know if there's anything else and I'll see what I can do to help. See you in the next one.